Hello, busy dads and busy people everywhere. If you're new to this channel, welcome. This is the channel all about the Busy Dad program. And the Busy Dad program, my friends, is the remarkably simple, effective, and time efficient training protocol that I've been following week in and week out for the last 21 and a half months since my daughter was born. It's gotten me into the best shape of my life. It has made fatherhood a time of unparalleled physical flourishing for me, and it can do the same for you. If you can find just 80 minutes from within your week, and if you can pledge to fill those minutes with intentional physical training, according to the Busy Dad program, my friends, it can work its magic on you just as it has on me. Right now, it's January, it's the beginning of a new year. We have before us an unparalleled opportunity to create a training practice. All we need is a bit of boldness, a bit of intentionality. And that's why I have created the Busy Dad January Challenge. My challenge to you is simply to complete 80 minutes per week for this one month of Busy Dad training. If you get to the end of January and it's not for you, all respect to you, my friend, for trying, that's absolutely fine but you won't know until you try. So why not set aside 80 minutes per week for the rest of this month and try out the Busy Dad program? It has changed my life and it might just change yours. Please do subscribe to this channel and check out busydadtraining.com for a crystal clear breakdown of the entire program. Now, my friends, in today's video, <clears throat> I am going to be filling a lacuna in my series of landmark workouts that I have recorded, today we are going to record the earliest landmark workout within the Busy Dad program, which is the level 1B landmark Navy SEAL workout. And next week we will be recording the level 1B landmark seat count workout. The Busy Dad program has a four-tiered level system, much like the belt system in martial arts. And in order to proceed from any level to the one above it, there are two landmark workouts that you have to complete. One six count workout and one Navy SEAL workout. Today we'll be filming the most elementary landmark workout within the program, which is 20 Navy SEALs within 20 minutes. If you're new to burpee training, and especially if you don't have any kind of background in calisthenics training, this workout will be a great way of gauging your current level of fitness with the Navy SEAL. See if you can follow my count and go the distance with me. What we're going to do is one rep every minute on the minute for 20 minutes. That'll get us our 20 sacred Navy SEALs within our 20 minute time frame. And my friends, if this workout currently is too challenging for you, there is no shame at all in that. We all have to start somewhere. The Busy Dad program does not care where you start. It only cares that you get started. And it's more than happy to meet you wherever you are. So try this one out. If it's too easy, try out the landmark workout for level 1C or 1D. And if it's too hard, don't sweat it. You're a 1A practitioner of the program and there is absolutely no shame in that. Either way, welcome to the Busy Dad program. Let's make this January a January to remember. All right, my friends, enough talk from me. Let's get to work. Okay, we're gonna go down. Get started with our work in three, two, one, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One Navy SEAL in the bank. Okay. Hopefully that felt pretty good. As we move through the workout, what will likely start happening is you'll get a lactic buildup in your upper body. Your shoulders, your chest, and your triceps will start to give out. So it's important that we do everything that we can to anticipate that and stop it from happening. So keep shaking out your arms. Okay, keep opening your chest muscles and keep taking deep nasal breaths, okay? That's gonna really efficiently oxygenate your muscles, get them ready for the next round, which is coming in five seconds, my friends. Okay, and we're back in for number two. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two reps in the back. Okay. 
Shake it out, stay calm, stay loose. Apologies for the background noise, my friends. Uh, I'm filming near a COVID testing hub uh, on the campus here. So lots of people coming in and coming out to get their COVID tests. Um, anyway, 15 seconds, so two reps in the bank, tenth of the way through. The important thing is just to stay loose, keep shaking those arms out, keep taking those nasal breaths. We're back in in five seconds. All right, let's go. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three Navy Seal. Three reps down. Okay, so it's a very generous rest period that we're going to be taking. We don't want to gas ourselves out. If we bunched up the reps too early, we might just go past that lactic threshold point. We just want to keep with this rhythm. One rep on the minute, every minute for our 20 minutes, okay? And that's going to unlock level 1B for us. 10 seconds, but back in for number four. Okay, follow my count, my friends. Let's go. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four reps down. Shaking out your arms. Stay loose, stay focused. Four reps down, we're approaching quarter of the way through. You need to be patient with this. Keep showing up minute on minute and we'll be done. And once we've built that foundation, we can start building on top of it. 15 seconds and we're back in. Remember, just keep the arms loose. The arms are the limiting factor in this, in this exercise. Five seconds. Okay, let's get this. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five reps down. Okay. Quarter of the way through. Navy SEALs, single best movement for building upper body strength in the whole calisthenics uh, repertoire, as far as I'm concerned. That's why they're a sacred movement of the program. It is just unbelievable the way your chest, shoulders, traps will blow up when you do this movement. It takes a little while to teach the body how to do it, so we're gonna just take it slow. Okay, so five seconds, we're back in, follow that count, 10 counts, let's get to work. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six reps down. I was a few inches ahead of where we are in this workout when I started. 21 months ago, but not very far ahead at all, okay? I think I tested in with 40 reps. I had a background in powerlifting and in calisthenics training. Um, but still, today, okay, my PR is 136 reps. It's unbelievable, the, the learning curve and the rate of progression with this movement. We just need to get started. That's what we're doing in this workout. Stay in it, my friends. Five seconds, we're back in. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven reps down. Seven reps down. 
stretching out. Make sure your hips stay loose. Big nasal breaths. So excited to meet the new recruits to the Busy Dead Army this January. I sincerely believe in this training method. It has changed my life. I really think it can change yours. Five seconds, we're back in for number eight. Follow my count. You ready? Let's go. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight reps in the bank. Twelve to go. Making good time. Thirty seconds before the next rep. Keep shaking out. Okay. If you haven't done push-ups in a while, your upper body is going to be the limiting factor here. So we need to do as much as we can between reps. Keep it loose and limber. Keep it ready to go. Five seconds. Okay. Ready to work? Let's go. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine reps complete. <sighs> Keep shaking out those arms. We all get to a point with Navy Steers, no matter our level where the upper body just stops cooperating. You just can't do any more pushes. And what you're trying to do in a busy dead workout is delay that point for as long as you possibly can, while doing as many reps as you possibly can. So you build up strategies for conserving your energy between reps. Keep shaking out the arms, deep nasal breaths. They've always worked for me in the past. Five seconds, we're back in. After this rep, we're gonna be halfway through. Let's go, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway through. Nothing excites me more than when I get new recruits to the Busy Dad Army. So please, if you find this video helpful, Try out this workout for yourself and you do take the time to test in and accept me, accept my January challenge, please leave a comment in the section. I love getting to know my subscribers. I love getting to know the new members of the Busy Dad Army. I promise you'll get a response from me. Okay. And keep coming back. Keep checking back in because we're building a community here. All right. Let's start the second half of this workout. Back in. Three, two, one, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven reps down. Only five seconds left. Stay focused. We're going into rep 12. The next minute comes around. Keep those nasal breaths coming. Keep shaking out your arms. Stay loose. Five seconds. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Twelve reps down.
you're doing this work on, you're feeling like it's a little bit easy. Be my guest to up the speed a little bit for these last eight minutes. Try doing one rep every 30 seconds if you feel up to it. But the aim of today is not to kill yourself, at least if this is your testing. You just want to set a benchmark, a baseline that you can work from, build on. And if this is not easy, stay with me, my friend. You've got this. Back in in three, two, one, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Seven reps left. Seven reps and one B is unlocked. Got to keep conserving our energy between the reps. Nothing changes with the Busy Dad program. Right now we're taking 45 seconds between reps. I'm at a point with my practice, my own personal practice in the program, where I take four seconds between reps. But it doesn't matter because that rest time is spent the same way, however long it takes. You're shaking, you're taking nasal breaths, and you're doing whatever you can so that you can show up for the next rep. All right, my friends, speaking of that next rep, time to show up. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fourteen reps down. Stay in there. Six steps left. We can do this. We can do this, my friend. Another thing I'll talk about is it's important to keep your form as strict as you can. Focus on squeezing your glutes together. That'll help you keep your tall core tight throughout the movement. So this next rep, let's really focus on keeping the glutes engaged, core engaged. Get to work. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifteen. Let's take it up. Stay loose. Stay focused. Stay calm. We're going in to our 16th rep in a moment. Down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixteen. seconds. I'm back in. Come on, my friends. Stick with me to the end. Let's go. Let's go. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seventeen reps down.
30 seconds of recovery time left. Three reps left to get, and that's 1B. Remember there are four sub-levels within level one. Once you unlock 1B, that's your first step on the path that leads through level one and opens up level two. All right. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. Two reps left to get. I want to give us maximal recovery time for these last two reps. So we'll take another 45 seconds from now. Open up your chest. It's funny. Different people come to this program with different backgrounds. For some people, the upper body is great, but the cardio system as a whole and the legs kind of slowing them down. For other people with a background, say, in team sports and running, it's the opposite. Their, their legs are good to go. Their cardio system, they've got a big gas tank. But the arms and the upper body just haven't had the kind of work that they, they would get through calisthenics training or through weightlifting. So that the Navy SEALs are exhausting. If that's you, the only way to improve your Navy SEALs is to do lots of Navy SEALs. Okay. Let's get to work. Down. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One minute left. Go in. Get this done. Get one B unlocked. You've come this far. It's in the bank for you. You've just got to do that one last set. One last burst of energy. Stay as loose and as limber as you possibly can. And if you weren't able to get to this point, take a log of your reps and build, cautiously, calmly, build until you get to the point that you can do this workout. When you're ready, come do it with me. Come back to this video and let's do it together. But if you have made it this far, my friends, in five seconds, we've got our last rep and that will unlock level 1B. You ready? All right, let's get it done. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty reps. Congratulations, my friends. Welcome to the Navy SEAL part of the Busy Dad program. Next week, I'm going to be putting up the level 1B buy in landmark workout for the six count part of the program. This workout was too hard. You heard what I said in the video. Okay, there is no shame in being a 1A practitioner. Right here, there is actually a level two practitioner of the Busy Dad program. He's a busy dad, <laughs> absolute legend. Good to see you, my friend. Um, Bill, any quick, any quick um, testimonials for my viewers about, about the Busy Dad program? Oh, so hard. <laughs> my first time doing it, I couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> this is a live episode. So glad to catch it. Yeah, man. The master. You're in. You're Do in. It. And this man, this man is the real deal. He's going to be unlocking level four before the year is closed. Oh, I hope so. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. <laughs> okay, everyone. Please keep checking in. Like I said, it puts a real spring in my step to hear from you guys. And um, I'll see you this time next week for another landmark workout. Good work, my friends.